Hi guys, welcome back to the CS Classroom. Today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to essentially download, well download is not really the correct word because we're not online, but to save the information in our application, which is stored in the database, as a CSV file. So we can then open it up and look at it in Excel, send it to someone else, and pretty much do whatever we want with it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a basic application that takes in contact information. So we'll just type in some information right here. And, and then it stores it in a database. We'll click connect, we'll click submit contact information. It gets stored in a SQLite database. And then we can click show table and we can see that data right here in this table. So this is a database enabled application. Um, and we can also see whatever data has been submitted in the table. But what we want to do is we want an option to download whatever data is in the table as a CSV file. So the way that we're going to do that is we are going to, first of all, add a button right here in order to uh, allow us to save that information. So we'll do sg.button. Then it'll be save as CSV. Um, and then what we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make some changes right here. Um, so if you look back at our application, right here, we, had a, we have a validation function. So if the information that's been entered right here is valid, then we insert our values into the database and we show pop up. Um, if not, then we um, give an error message and then we um, show basically what has not been entered incorrectly. Then we've got another event, which is show table for this, which basically takes all of the information in the database and displays it in a table. So in contact information window, we have a function called create, which gets information from the database um, and then displays that in the form of a table. So basically what we wanna do is we want to go back to main window and we want to create a third option for our uh, save as CSV button right up here. So we're going to do elif event equals save as CSV. And in order to, in order to um, actually create this CSV file, we're going to create another Python file. Um, we'll call it, uh, let's call this CSV interface, just to make it consistent. Um, save this. And also in our um, function, or in our... Um, in our file that we used, that we wrote in order to generate a table, let's see, contact information window. Um, we had a create function in order to display, to create and display that table. So just for the sake of consistency and also because both this and our CSV function will use, um, will retrieve information from the database, we're going to create a create function. Uh, def create. And this is where we will write our code in order to generate our CSV. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to write the code to generate the CSV. I'm going to import the CSV library right here. Um, and then I'm going to get um, all of our records from the database regarding contacts. So we'll have contact records equals database. Well, I need to import database interface as well which is what allows us to get different pieces of information from the database. And specifically, this returns information from the database in the form of a 2D array, which is what we need um, in order to create a CSV file. So we're going to import CSV, and then we're going to import a database interface as well. So we're going to do database interface dot get or dot retrieve contacts. And what we're going to do then is we're going to create a headings uh, array, a one-dimensional headings array. We'll call this contact records array, just to be, just to be clear. We've got headings, and we're just going to display the name, uh, address, and phone records for each person, which is really the only information that we have. And remember, a CSV file is a file that can be opened up in Excel and viewed. So in a CSV file, there will be rows and there will be, there will be columns. 
and the information in each column will be separated by a comma. So these are the headings for each column, the name of each column, essentially. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our connection to our CSV file. So we're going to do file open uh, contacts.csv um, w and encoding equals utf8 and this is just in case we have any any characters in a different language or any unusual characters. Um, what what making this W means is that if there is no file called contacts.csv, then it will create it. If that file otherwise has already been created and is blank, it will write the data that we um, want it to write into that file. So this is creating our connection to the file. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the object that will actually allow us to write to the file. So we're going to do writer equals csv.writer and then file. Uh, so it should be CSV. So we're getting this writer function from the CSV library. We're passing it our connection to the file, and we're creating this object, writer. And we're going to use this first to write our heading to the CSV. So we'll do writer.write row, and then headings. And that's just going to write one row at the top. That's going to be the first row it writes. But then we're going to write multiple rows of information um, from the data received from the database. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have writer.write rows with an S. We're going to pass it our contact records array, which again is a two-dimensional array. We must use two-dimensional arrays when we're, passing in, when we're passing multiple pieces of information to a CSV file. And that'll just be one big array, so one outer array with an inner array for each record. So for each person, each name, address, and phone record, each row in the CSV file. And then we're just going to go ahead and close the file, close our connection to the file. So that should save our information as a CSV. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the main window, and we're going to say we're going to import uh, CSV interface. And then right here for our event, save as CSV. We're going to um, we're going to say CSV interface dot create. And there's no need to pass anything to create um, because it's the create function is getting its information straight from the database. So uh, let's go ahead and try that out. I'm sure there'll be some kind of error. There always is. But if there is, we'll fix it, and hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Let's go ahead and run this again. OK, looks like we're good. Let's just show the table to see what's in there. Let's add one more piece of information. Let's say Jack28 uh, Maygold Road. That sounds like something that would be real. Um, and 9816723. Submit contact information. Let's see in the table. And let's save as CSV. OK, cool. As you can see in our uh, directory right here, you got contacts at CSV, which popped up. And if you open that up, we've got our headings. And then we've got the two pieces of information in our table. So you can see that these are correct. Anyways, um, that's basically that's how to create a CSV file. Um, once you create the CSV file, this can be shared with anyone. You can open this up in Excel, do whatever you want. Um, a lot of times CSV files, especially nowadays, are used for data science, machine learning, um, basically to analyze a large amount of data that's been generated by Python or that's been pulled out of an API and then um, generated in a Python file. So I hope this has been useful to you. Have a nice day and happy coding.